And I did not record this. Oh, my name is Reuben Wilson, and I just want to tell you that God is real. And God came to me this morning about 6.30 to make this, 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 this tape and just to share with you, his children, that you can be delivered no matter what you're going through, no matter what hardships that you are having in your life. He said in Psalms 34, 17, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivered them out of all trouble. He didn't say some trouble. He said all trouble. And I'm telling you, I'm a living testament to that, that God is real and he can deliver you. All you have to do is trust and believe in him. You know, when I was in my younger days in the army, hanging out with my friends and, you know, you drink sociably and the next thing you know, you're drinking all the weekend, you're having fun. And then the older you get, you say, hey, I don't need to be drinking this stuff anymore. I don't need to be smoking. And then when you try to stop these, break these bad habits, the devil himself comes in and steps in and says, hey, you ain't going anywhere. Well, I'm going to tell you that the, the devil does not have any control over your life. The Lord can deliver you from all things. He said, trust in me, believe in me, and I shall deliver you from these things. You know, I'm a living testament to that because God is real. He said, seek me, I am at the door. He said, open the door and you shall receive the things in your life that you need. He said, if you believe and trust in me, I shall deliver you from all things. These mountains and trials and tribulations that are hindering us and holding us back in our life, no matter what they are, no matter what you are going through, bills, finances, children, you know, not listening, divorce with your significant others not working out, the job is not working out. No matter what you have in your life that are holding you back in bondage or trial or you are suffering or grief or death, God can deliver you. He can put you on the right track. He can reverse the things in your life that are holding you back from having an everlasting relationship with the Father in heaven. He said, trust in me and believe in me and I shall deliver you. I shall move you forward. I shall move the mountain through prayer. All you have to do is get on your knees and pray to the Lord God Jesus Christ and give yourself to him and open your heart and receive him and he will come in and he will move these mountains. He will move these things that are holding you, that are hindering you from moving forward and being at one with the Father in heaven. You know God is real and he wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to come in his life. He wants to be a part of you. He wants to be your everlasting Father. You know, we are in the last days. We are in the last days before the coming of our Father. He wants us to clean up our life. He wants us to get straight. He wants us to move forward. And you know those things that I was telling you about in myself, I'm sharing with you because God is real. You know, He is real. And He moved me from those packs, from smoking, from drinking beer or whatever. And haven't touched in the last 10 years, 10, 12 years. You know, God is good. I'm trying to tell you, if you believe and trust in him, he will take the taste out of your mouth. He will take the cigarette out of your mouth. He will remove the building. He will remove the bondage that are holding you back. I'm telling you, God is real, and he wants that personal relationship with you. He wants you to come to the door and open the door before it's too late. You know, we time is running out for some of us. Time is running out for some of us, and he's giving you the opportunity to clean yourself. He's giving you the opportunity to purge. He's giving you the opportunity to be blessed. He's giving you the opportunity to receive everlasting salvation. He's giving you the opportunity to receive everlasting life. You know, the Bible in James 5, 16 says that, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person has great powers as it is working. And what that is saying is God saying that we are all children of the Father above. And as long as we come together as Christians of one and pray for each other, we can move mountains. We can heal each other. We can cleanse each other as long as we believe in the Father and we believe in prayer and supplication, then God will step in. He will step in and give us that supernatural healing. He will step in and give us that supernatural cleansing. He will step in and remove these things that are holding you in bondage. He will deliver you. He will move you forward. He will move those mountains. He will move any and everything in your life that are holding you back because God is God. I'm telling you, he wants to have that personal relationship with you. You know, in 2 Peter 2, 9, the Bible says that then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to keep 
the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment. You know what that is saying is it's saying if you are in trouble and you are a child of God, he's not going to abandon you. He's going to step in and remove those things that are stopping you. He's going to step in and heal you. He's going to step in and support you. He's going to be that rock in your life. He's going to be that stability in your life. No matter what you're going through, no matter what pain you are going through, he is going to come in and change your life. He's going to be that, that force. When you think all is gone, when you think all is lost, he's going to step in. You know, God is never late. He's always on time. Sometimes not on our timetable, but he's always on time. And if you truly believe and pray and trust in the Lord God, Jesus Christ, he shall deliver you. Those that are not saved, those that are still trying to find themselves out in the world, he's saying to you, you know, move forward. Move forward or you be there at the day of judgment. When I come, you shall be in the same position that you are right now. You know, you don't want to be in that position. You want to be delivered. You want to trust and give yourself up to the Lord God, Jesus Christ. You want to give yourself. Well, you know, the Bible says that the Father gave his only begotten Son, that who should ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That is what God is saying to you. Trust and believe in me and my Son, and all things shall be added unto you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what pain you have endured over the last 10, 15 years that you are trying to overcome, and you had no success doing it by yourself and you know why you can't do it by yourself because we tend to listen to people in this world for help counseling medical treatment but there's a point when this physical world cannot help you there's a point in your life when this physical world has not the means has not the power the supernatural power the supernatural healing to move you forward and remove those things in your life that are holding you down and that's when God steps in that's when the Lord God Jesus Christ comes in and shows that he is God and through God all things through the Lord God Jesus Christ our Father in heaven through him we are delivered through him we are saved through him we are given eternal life everlasting life you know, I'm Reuben Wilson, and I just want you to know that the Lord God, Jesus Christ, wants to have that relationship with you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to change your life. The only way your life is going to change is through the power of His forgiveness, through the power of His love, through the power of His grace. We all want to go to heaven. No one wants to go to hell. So in order to be delivered out of our situation, whatever it may be, Whatever it may be, we have to trust and believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ that He alone holds the key to our deliverance, not even us. You know, we can try to deliver ourselves from doing certain things and having certain behaviors that are not right, but we as humans in this world, in the flesh, don't have the willpower or the uh, inner authority, the inner will to change our situation. We might change for a, a time. We might change and start walking that, that right path, but then we have relapse. You know, you hear about people having relapse in their lives. They go back and start doing the same old things that they've been doing before. That's because they don't have God in their life. That's because they try to change on their own accord, and we do not have the power, the supernatural power, from our Heavenly Father to alter our life, to change the way we are acting, to change the way we want to act. The only way that we will change is by the power of the Father above. And that's through faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ and our life shall change. The Lord said it in John 8, 32. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So why are we continuing to lie to ourselves that we can change our lives? We cannot change our lives. We cannot change our situation. We cannot deliver ourselves from anything. All we can give ourselves is false hope. All somebody else can do is give us false hope that through practices and sessions and treatment that our life may change. It's not a guarantee 
The doctor can't guarantee, that psychologist can't guarantee that your life is going to change and stay on the right track. They can't guarantee that you won't have a relapse and go back into the same old self that you was, the same old person again. But if you are a born again Christian, if you have received the Lord God Jesus Christ as your everlasting Savior, then your life, your life will change. Then you will know based on the word of God and the truth shall set you free because it's the truth from the Father. The Father have healed you. He has given you that supernatural deliverance. He has delivered you from your sickness. He has delivered you from your trials. He has delivered you from that thing in your life, that mountain. He has removed you out of that situation, out of that bondage, out of that hole, out of that hell that you were in by your belief and trust in Him. And through Him, all things are possible. And the truth shall set you free because you have believed in the Father. And the Father is truth. It, I'm telling you, if you believe and trust in the Lord God Jesus Christ, all things will be added unto you. The Lord will not take anything from you that He wants you to have when He gives it to you. We, in turn, take it from ourselves because we don't allow ourselves to be delivered and moved out of this present situation by our Father above. We try everything in this world to do the things that we need to do as humans to remove our situation, to fix our situation without going to the Father. Therefore, repent your sins. Get on your knees and pray. Ask the Lord God Jesus Christ to deliver you out of your situation. I'm telling you, if you ask the Lord and seek Him, He will move that mountain. You will reach out to whatever is in your life, and the next morning you will wake up and it will be gone. Your life is changed. You are a new creature. You are delivered by the Lord God Jesus Christ. All you have to do is believe and trust in our Father in heaven, and through him all things are possible. He is our Father in heaven, and he is the deliverer. You know, you can look at the story of the Israelites when, when Pharaoh had his children in bondage for over uh, 200 years in slavery. And the Lord came in and delivered his children because his children have faith. They had belief and trust in the Lord God Jesus Christ that a deliverer would come and remove them out of bondage, remove them out of slavery. Even though they might have been there for a long time, enduring hardships, pain and suffering, and even death with some of them, they still continue to believe we have to have faith in our Father in heaven that through him our life will change only if we believe. I'm telling you, your life will change if you truly believe and trust in the Lord God Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, I'm Reuben Wilson. I'm just here delivering this message to the, from the Father. And the Father wants to have a personal relationship with you. He wants to clean your life. He wants to cleanse you. He wants you to become one with him. He wants you to become a new being. He wants all of your pain and suffering to go away. He wants whatever that's inside of you or in your life that is holding you hostage, that is holding you from having a relationship with the Father, He wants to remove it. But the only way that we're going to have these things removed out of our life is if we give ourselves to the Lord God Jesus Christ. You can't give yourself to Him 1%, 2%, 3%. You have to give yourself to the Lord God Jesus Christ a hundred percent. You can't be a, a Christian on the fence, okay, like some of us. You can't serve God Monday and Sunday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're doing your same old thing or vice versa. We have to serve the Lord God Jesus Christ every single day if we want deliverance, if we want prayer, if we want things in our life fixed that are holding us down, that are holding us hostage, that are putting us in bondage where we can't move forward. You know, if you give yourself to the Lord God Jesus Christ and study His words, you will change. You will move. He will deliver you. I'm telling you, God will move you and you will be delivered and your life will change. Your life will change because he said it. He said it in Psalms 106. Then they cried to the Lord in their troubles and he delivered them from their disaster. He delivered us from our disaster. He delivered us from our pain. He delivered us from our suffering. Just like he delivered his children in the past, he will deliver us right now and in the future. Because we are his children. All we have to do is accept the Lord God Jesus Christ. You know, we have to accept him as our Lord and Savior and change. 
you know, and become one with the Father. And these things that are hindering us in our life, no matter what they are, no matter what you are going through, I'm telling you that God can deliver you. He can change your life. There's nothing out there in the world. There's no medical doctor or scientific knowledge out there in the world that can help you change your present situation but the Father in Heaven. I don't care how many times you go to the doctors. I don't care how many times you go to a psychiatrist. I don't care how many times you talk to your family, your family members, even our pastors in the church. They can give us our religious counseling. They can tell us what to do. They can tell us that we need to accept the Lord God Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. But until we, as the individual, we, me and you, or whoever you are that's out there going through your trial, going through your tribulation, and is seeking deliverance from something that is holding you back in your life that you can no longer bear, you have to come on one accord with the Lord God Jesus Christ. You have to give yourself to Him 100%. You have to live your life according to the Word of God. You have to change. You have to accept him as his Lord and Savior. And through him, our Father in heaven, Jesus Christ, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, all things shall be added unto you. Your life shall change. You shall be delivered, no matter what you're going through. You know, we can say this over and over again, but all we can do is tell you. All I can do is tell you and share with you what the Lord God Jesus Christ is saying. Because time is of essence. Time is near because the Lord is coming soon. And he wants all of his children to have everlasting life. But woe I say unto you that some of you, some of you will not repent. Some of you will not change your way. Some of you will not seek the Lord God Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And I say unto you, some of you will be too late. Some of you, it will be too late if you continue to walk the path that you are walking. The Lord is talking to you. He's calling you home. And he's giving you an opportunity to choose life or death. You know, we listen to him sometimes. Sometimes we don't listen to him. He's talking to you, my sisters and my brothers. He's telling you to change your life. Seek him for deliverance. Seek him to stop doing the things that you are doing that you know that you are not supposed to do. We all are guilty of that. There's not a perfect man in this world, and we all sin. But when we sin, we have to repent our sins. We have to get on our knees and pray and ask the Lord God, Jesus Christ, to forgive us for our sins. We can't do this one day out of the week, Sunday, and then Monday through Saturday, we walk in a different, a different road. We're on that super highway to hell, and then come Sunday, we're jumping up in the church, hooping and hollering and praying, and asking the Lord God, Jesus, for forgiveness and healing and removing the things in our life. The Lord will not hear you. He will not hear you until you change your life and start listening and start doing the things according to the Word of God, the law, the law of our Father in heaven. You know, He has it right there for us to read, and He holds each and every one of us accountable for the Word of God. You can go to the church and you can listen to the pastor preach every Sunday. He can tell you the things, but the Lord will hold you directly responsible for His Word, His law. That's why it's our responsibility to open up the Bible. It's our responsibility to learn and listen to the Word of God and read it for ourselves and take it in and be responsible people, be responsible children to our Father which are in heaven, that is looking down on us this day and telling us, repent our sins, because the day of the Lord is at hand, and I come like a thief in the night, and those that are not ready, hell shall be your gate. Because if you die in this world and not receiving the Lord God Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, there's no deliverance for you. There's no forgiveness for you on that day of judgment when you stand in front of the great white throne and all your life. It's exposed from the day you conceive in this world. The Lord shall look at you at that point in time. I'm telling you, the message is coming from the Father. He's telling you, if you don't repent and change your ways, then hell shall be your way. He shall tell you, depart from me, goat, I do not know you. And I'm telling you, nobody wants that. So you have a chance. You have an opportunity to seek deliverance. You have a chance, an opportunity to seek salvation. You have a chance to receive the grace from our Father in heaven because heaven is not automatic. We get into heaven by the grace of God. And through the grace of God, we are delivered. So I'm just telling you, start doing what you're supposed to do. Start following the word of God. Change your life. Move forward. 
Ask the Lord God Jesus Christ to deliver you, to change you, to move you, to fulfill you. Blessed is the man that receives the word of the Lord God Jesus Christ and walk in his path on that narrow straight path because there are two roads in life. One to hell, the large road, and the narrow path where the righteous is very few. And the Bible says millions and millions shall go to hell for those that do not receive and seek the Lord God Jesus Christ as their Savior. Jesus is talking to you. He's giving you an opportunity to repent your sins. He's giving you an opportunity to change. We must have faith in our Father in heaven that through our Father in heaven all things are given. All things will be received from us to us from our Father if we believe and trust in Him. You shall be delivered. Your life shall change. You know, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what type of shame you have, what type of hurt you have. The Lord is there at the door. And all you have to do is receive Him. He says, knock and the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be delivered. Meaning He's going to deliver you. All you have to do is trust and believe in Him. If we trust and believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ, our life will change. Our whole life will change. All we have to do is believe. All we have to do is continue to trust in Him. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God is telling you. He, he's at the door. He's, he's giving you the opportunity right now to receive him and be delivered with eternal life. With eternal life. You know, when we stand in front of our Father on Judgment Day, we can't say that we weren't given the opportunity to choose. God is giving you the opportunity to choose between life and death. Don't play with your life. Don't allow your life to pass through this without being changed, without accepting the Word of God, without being born again and receiving God as your Heavenly Father. I'm Reuben Wilson, and I just want to let you know that the Father's at the door, and He wants to have a working relationship with you. He wants to have an everlasting relationship with you. And on the Day of Judgment, He wants you to be standing in front of Him and hear the words of, Well done, my faithful servant. And we receive that white robe which we all want to do on that day, on that final day of judgment. But woe unto the sinners, woe unto the unbelievers, woe unto all those that do not change their way, for the Father in heaven fury shall be upon you. On that final day of judgment, his judgment shall pass upon you, and hell shall be your burning everlasting home. I'm telling you the word of God because God is real and he wants to have a relationship with you and he's giving you that opportunity to change. It's up to you, my brothers and sisters, to change. It's up to you to accept the Lord God Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior this day. For time is running out and we know not the day or hour or time when the Lord God Jesus Christ is coming. We know not the day or hour when he will call us home, when death shall knock on our door, which all of us shall die one day. And we don't know that day. Tomorrow is not promised. Today is. Accept the Lord God Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Change your life and be delivered from the things that are hindering you. Be delivered from the things that are holding you back. Be delivered from the pain and agony and suffering in your life that you are going through that you have no control of. Blessed be the name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord, and I'm here to tell you, he's real. Be blessed. Have a great day.